Hi there, welcome to today's video. We're going to explore the WebVision dataset, a valuable resource for training and evaluating visual recognition models using web data. I will present a comprehensive introduction by following three general questions. What is WebVision? Why should we choose it? And how can we use it? Let's go. The first question is, what is WebVision? WebVision is a dataset created to study visual recognition models using large-scale, noisy web data. This dataset was developed by the Computer Vision Laboratory at ETH Zurich in collaboration with Google Switzerland. The primary goal behind WebVision is to provide a realistic and challenging data source for training deep learning models, capturing the diversity and noise inherent in web-sourced images. The origins of WebVision trace back to the need for a more scalable and cost-effective way to gather training data for visual recognition tasks. The dataset was constructed by crawling images from Google Image Search and Flickr. These images were collected using queries based on the 1,000 semantic concepts from the ILS VRC 2012 benchmark, aka ImageNet. This approach not only provided a large volume of data, but also ensured a diverse set of images covering a wide range of categories. After that, in order to provide high-quality images, the researchers deleted low-resolution images, which maintained the hygiene of the whole dataset. The dataset aims at providing reliable source for model training, so it was separated into training, validation, and test sets. We can find that there are around 100,000 human annotated images which covered 1,000 categories, and they were equally split as validation set and test set to ensure that there are no overlaps between training set and validation set or test set, the researchers removed top 5,000 images in training set, which are most close to validation set and test set. After all the steps they did above, and along with the metadata that was crawled from the websites, finally, WebVision was ready to meet everyone. After understanding what WebVision is, the next question is, why do we choose WebVision? Why is WebVision such an important and valuable resource for researchers? The key lies in its unique attributes and the advantages it offers over other datasets. When compared to other popular datasets like ImageNet, WebVision offers several advantages. In terms of the size of the dataset, ImageNet contains approximately 1.28 million images. And when it comes to WebVision, there are more than 2.4 million images available. WebVision captures a wide range of visual content, including different backgrounds, lighting conditions, and perspectives. This diversity is crucial for training models that need to perform well in varied real-world scenarios. If we focus on the label quality, ImageNet, while meticulously annotated, represents a more controlled and less noisy environment. WebVision, on the other hand, includes noisy labels typical of web source data, providing a more realistic training scenario. This helps in developing models that are robust to label noise and can generalize better to new, unseen data. After viewing the general comparison between WebVision and ImageNet, the researchers delved into practical applications using the WebVision database to explore its effectiveness for various visual recognition tasks. They compare its performance against the widely recognized ImageNet dataset. The researchers trained an AlexNet model and verified the performance of the learned model on the validation set of both datasets. To make more direct and clear comparisons, let's have a look of this table. Since the semantic concepts of WebVision is the same as them in ImageNet, the researchers made a cross-dataset testing. No matter it is top 1 accuracy or top 5 accuracy, we can observe performance drops on both datasets, which indicates that there is a domain difference between these two datasets. And we can also see that the performance drop of WebVision is larger than that of ImageNet. It could be explained by the fact that WebVision is noisier than ImageNet. How about the generalization ability of WebVision in this example? The researchers evaluated the learnt feature representation on Caltech 256 dataset and Pascal VOC 2007 dataset. We can conclude that the representation learnt directly from web images can generalize to another dataset as well as or slightly better than ImageNet, which is meticulously annotated by human. Furthermore, 
The researchers tested the Web Vision model's generalization by fine-tuning it for object detection using the FASTER-R CNN framework on the Pascal VOC 2007 dataset. The results show that the Web Vision model performs comparably to the ILS VRC 2012 model, indicating good generalization ability when fine-tuned for new tasks. So, after the comparisons we analyzed above, can we finally conclude the properties about Web Vision? Of course, we can summarize some advantages and disadvantages about it. Let's see the pros first. 1. Large scale. With over 2.4 million images, Web Vision provides ample data for training deep learning models. 2. Diverse sources. Images from Google Image Search and Flickr offer varied contexts, making the dataset more representative of real-world data. 3. Rich metadata. The accompanying metadata, including titles, descriptions, and tags, can be leveraged for multimodal learning and improving model accuracy. 4. Benchmarking. The inclusion of human annotated validation and test sets allows for reliable evaluation of model performance. 5. Real-world relevance. The dataset includes noisy labels typical of web-sourced data, providing a more realistic training scenario. This helps in developing models that are robust to label noise and can handle real-world data variability. There are also some cons of web vision. 1. Label noise. The dataset contains significant label noise, which can affect model performance. However, this also provides an opportunity to develop robust models. 2. Dataset bias. There is a noticeable bias compared to human annotated datasets, which can impact the generalization of models. 3. Variability in image quality. The quality and relevance of images can vary widely across categories, presenting additional challenges for researchers. Now, let's answer the last question of Web Vision. How can we use Web Vision? Accessing Web Vision is straightforward. The researchers created an official website for Web Vision, and everyone can directly visit the website and download the data. When you head to Dataset section, you will surprisingly find that Web Vision Dataset 2.0 was available now as well. As what they said, Web Vision 2.0 was developed in the same way as Web Vision 1.0, but they extended the number of visual concepts from 1,000 to 5,000, and it contains 16 million training images now. The next section, Download section. Here you can have access in both Web Vision 1.0 and 2.0 dataset. Every part is clearly named so the users can download any single dataset part. For example, they segmented training images based on different sources and split the whole training dataset into many small parts, which would be more practical for the users. And you will find the independent metadata, which is available in JSON format. Before you start using the dataset, please pay attention to terms of use. The next part, which is the combination of workshop, challenge, and previous sections. The researchers launched four annual workshops from 2017 to 2020, and along with challenge on visual understanding by learning from web data each year. You can find and browse corresponding information of every event. Based on the success of those academic events, it undoubtedly indicated that the researchers in computer vision field need a reliable and valuable database for their studies, and they did benefit from Web Vision dataset. There is also a fax bar where you can find most asked questions about Web Vision, but if your questions are not listed on it, you can just contact them via email. The last one is About section. You can find the contributors of Web Vision. By clicking the links related to each person, you will be able to see their academic profiles, which may help you have a deeper insight of their research interests. In conclusion, Web Vision emerges as a critical data set for the development of visual recognition models due to its extensive collection and diversity of web sourced images. With over 2.4 million images and expanding, Web Vision offers a broad spectrum of visual contexts that reflect real world scenarios, making it an invaluable resource for training robust models capable of handling label noise and variability in image quality. Its comparison with traditional meticulously annotated datasets like ImageNet highlights its unique value in providing more realistic training conditions. Moreover, the dataset's flexibility and scalability, evidenced by the release of Web Vision 2.0, underscore its ongoing relevance and utility in advancing the field of computer vision.
Researchers and practitioners can access and leverage this data set to enhance their models, contributing to more effective and versatile applications in visual recognition. Thank you for joining us in this introduction to the Web Vision dataset. I hope you found this video informative and useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more OER videos. See you next time.